shit. Huh. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss talk. We gon' do it how you want it. Boss talk. Yeah. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO. And I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica. Well, go on, Madel. Man, man, you talking about being blessed, man. See, sometimes you don't know what's going to happen, man. And God just give it to you. Man, you don't even know. But I pray a lot, though. Mm-hmm. Man, hey, man, I've been looking for this guy, man. Because really, uh, hey, I'm I, I'm watching my cameras. I'm taking pointers today. <laughs> this has been a class in session for me today, man. <laughs> Check it, man. Sean Cotton's in the building, man. <laughs> Yo, what up, man? How you doing, man? It's a pleasure. Man, I've been worried about if you was even, thought we was doing a good job. Doing the yeah, break, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen a, I've seen a few episodes. I'm Love a it. fan, man, of yours. Yeah, I appreciate bro. it. I'm a fan too, man. I, I'm telling you, ever since I, you know, I brought uh, what's his name, the, uh, Jeff mm-hmm. Pullum. Mm-hmm. I, I was like, man, I was fascinated that he had interviewed you. Yeah. I was like, man, how the heck you end up interviewing him? Then he gave me D's number. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, man, I don't know how I'm going to get to Sean, man. Yeah. And I know I was going to run up on you one day, because yeah, I'm a hustler, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Sure. So I don't really go nowhere. You notice, I've been in the city, been here all these, you yeah. never hear from I me. I see all them pictures. Yeah, so yeah, I, I can know, run up on I you. you I, I promise you I can run up on you. But I just do it to where it's organic. Man. Yeah, this was definitely organic. Man, I didn't even know I was to coming be. here today. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. So how, how long, how far in advance do you get a notice? What you mean? That you were going to come here. This morning. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I knew because he called me and asked so. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And well, I, yeah, yeah. I mean, he told me, uh, he gave me the address, but. You I didn't mean, know what it was. Yeah, I didn't know what it was. <laughs> but then as soon as I seen outside, I was like, oh, this is where it go down at. Oh, so, man. Yeah. So what you think about it, man? We doing Love all right? It. Love it. Because your opinion matters to me. Man, bro. nah. I've been to a lot of places. This is cool. I feel safe. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, no, we try to keep it that way. Yeah. It's been that way here. And, and certain people we showing off, I heard you on, uh, first of all, you from Philadelphia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, you supposed to be a boxer. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but but I, I was raised in Arlington. Really? Yeah, I didn't live in Philly for too long, but that's where okay. all my family is. So, I'm so always, you go back, you freak all the time. I, don't I love have, it up there. I don't have, outside of my immediate family, I don't have no uh, like cousins or nothing like that. So you, I'll go to Philly to see my family. You 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 have an interview up there? All the time. Okay. You, yeah. you Do you like that Philly cheesesteak? What about that place we went over there? I don't even remember. We just name. looked up where Kevin Harden. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, you know, we look, we you we probably tourists. went to somewhere like super mainstream, like uh, it's right down there on the strip. Yeah, I know oh what man, you're we about. Hey, uh, hey, we just so we just so touristic yeah. when we go places. We've gone. I drove through there. I actually yeah. flew into DC and I drove all the way to New York because yeah. I like to, I'm nosy as hell. Same, same <laughs> with me. Like we were talking before, I love just the culture. Yeah, yeah, the accents and the foods and um, everything. Yeah, the sports yeah. teams and just everything. Man, so, man, go ahead, babe. So take us back it. to um, before you started this. I know you used to work at Best Buy, but even yeah. before that, um, where did you used to work before um, that? Sh- when I graduated high school, my dad was the manager of uh, GameStop Warehouse. Wow. He was a supervisor. Okay. And um, he would hire everybody from my school. And a lot of them got fired because they were still with the video games outside of the GameStop Warehouse. They w- it was easy to sneak them out, but they'll catch you eventually. And they would wait to ca- they would wait for you to steal a whole bunch of games so they could file a case, because wow. it's hard to file a case on somebody with one, two right. Xbox, PS2, threes at the time. So he hired me for the first shift because he worked third shift, so we couldn't work the same shift. He's Sean Cotton too. Wow. So yeah. you're junior. Well, not really, because we don't have the same middle name. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. Well, I guess I'm not a damn junior either. <laughs> <laughs> I thought yeah, I was. You don't have the same I don't middle have name. no same middle yeah, name. Yeah, you don't have. Yeah. You, you, did your daddy have he a middle name? He didn't have no damn middle name. I was about to say, you are a junior, because both of y'all didn't have no middle name. Both of y'all don't have, I don't have no middle, middle name. So, maybe that, so I, that so means you I'm, are a junior. So, I'm a junior, because he didn't have no middle name? Yeah. How does yeah. that work? Uh, I, I don't know. Like, uh, I got to figure sometimes that out. Sometimes people, will, sometimes I would be considered a junior, but for the most part, I'm not a junior. Not a junior. Yeah. You are a junior. Hush. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm cool with being a junior man. My dad, deceased man, was a hell of a man. So. Man, sorry man, about he that. put me, hey, mom and dad. But at the end of the day, I'm still here. That's what yeah. it's all about, man. So, what are you? What? What, what prompted you to get into this? Business? Oh, you for the? Yeah, I'm about, oh. I'm about to go there too. Yes. Oh well, yeah. sure. After the game stopped, because they didn't really like my dad there, so they fired him, and then they start treat me like shit. So if you see my I interview would. with Charleston White, that shit is true because yeah. they, fire, they fired me from GameStop as well because they didn't like my dad. So, boom, I had went to the cell phone job and then 
they had let people go, so they let me go, and then boom, that's when I, 2010 summer, I was at um, Home Depot, and then it was too hot because I was pushing carts. And then, so I quit. I and went how to, old were you at this time? I was t- 19, 20. Okay. And then... um, And still uh, living at home with mom and dad? Definitely. Okay. And that's one thing I preach. I feel like uh, kids who, you know, are fresh out of high school, don't rush out the house. Um, you Because know, that's a black culture. Is like, I since I've been here, I hear a lot of... Um, Parents that say, oh, as soon as they're, they're 18, bad, they're out of that see, house, I don't... But see, when you see Mexicans... They it's, say. It's 20 in the crib. They build up, they stack their money up, and then they all start five, six different businesses out of that one family. Mm-hmm. Because when you're 17, 18, you're still a kid. You know, you, you don't know yourself. I didn't find myself till I was like 23, 24. I didn't know my purpose. So to... To but back to that, though, when you talk about Hispanics, the part that I don't agree with, because what I see with a lot of Hispanic culture, you can get married. Like, you get married. Yeah. The men always end up going to live with the wife's parents. Mm-hmm. Always. And, and I'm like, why is that so? Why not the woman live with the yeah, man's parents? Know. And they'll stay there for a long time. A long time. But but that, what they're doing is when they stay with each other, they're all putting their money in to a business and it forms ownership. And you do that a hundred times, that's a community. But you know imagine living with your in-laws. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, with black people, we kick our we send our kids out. You know what mm-hmm, I'm saying? So mm-hmm. um my dad was that type of person. He was like, you know, you're getting older. Cause at that time, I I was living uh Home Depot Best Buy time. I was living with my mom and dad, and they were going through it. My mom is the hustler type. She's the one that's like, yo, you can stay here, just pay fifty dollars a week and I trust you. I believe you. My dad, he's by the book. Yo, go go to college, military, this, this, and that. So by the grace of God, they divorced. And my mom, <laughs> by the grace of God, yeah, yeah. No, because my mom then she needed my help. Okay, she was like, you know, if you could pay an extra fifty, you could stay here. Cool. I'll pick up my little sister after school. You don't got to get off early. So I became a man of the house then. Mm-hmm. So if they didn't get divorced, I think my dad would have kicked me out. And it wouldn't have been a say cheese. Oh, okay. So that's why I'm saying it. It, it was, okay. it was a blessing in disguise. And my dad just texts me. It's crazy how it worked. Oh, how man. many talk siblings? A lot. How many siblings you had? I only, only got one? two sisters. Oh, two sisters. Yeah, so you the I only grew, boy. Yeah, but I grew up with my mom and dad. Like we lived together 23 years. Wow. So I didn't have to run to the streets to look for love, cause the love was in the crib. That's good. You know when he seen me fucking with some some niggas that wasn't on point. He he, he was the he man. Check. Up. Yeah, he I didn't have to go. Into the streets to, to seek love, you know. So no, I get it. It was great. So do you you feel like uh, you 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 feel like you where y'all to be right now in this whole uh, uh, what do you uh, you 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 interview people, but do you yeah. consider you a blog? They don't consider you. Oh uh, yeah, I, I blog too heavy so you on do, Instagram. You he, yeah, yeah, he does. Yeah, 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 yeah. You you everywhere. I'm everywhere. And and then overbooked. I hear people complaining about you. That yeah, yeah. No, I'm not playing, bro. Yeah, no, like that's like, what these dudes tell me. Still, I'm not in the rap game. Yeah, no, nah, people are mad because um, really like we're booked up. Yeah, like niggas can't ever say that I owe them money or anything. Yeah. It's just the fact that I, I can't work with them when they want me to work. But you with being them. honest. It, I'm just being honest. Yeah. And it's a lot of people that are out here that are you know make doing funny business. I'm just hard to get in contact with, and I feel like that helped my brand get to exactly. where it's at. Exactly. Yeah. Because if somebody see sees you all the time, they're not gonna appreciate you. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying so. How'd you end up? See, see, you end up on the gatekeeper list. I don't want to. I don't even know why. What the hell was that, man? I don't know. Big D, that's my homie, but I don't even like that type of like. Yeah, I mean, like, like what is that? that? I don't know. Jay Prince, I, he's in the league of his own. Right. So when exactly. I seen it, I said, man. Yeah. But but I understood it though from yeah. the interview we did with Big D. You see, yeah, I yeah. know already but how I he just, be coming though. But Big D, he's super. Uh, I mean, uh, Jay Prince is he's an OG, OG. Yeah, but Big exactly. D got an opinion and he's strong yeah. about yeah. it. When you talk to him, yeah. he gonna tell you what he feel. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I. Just, uh, and it, I think he, he actually brought that up on this show because mm-hmm. he was like, "Man, I think Sean just don't get to pray. You know, yeah. it's a new day, and and that's how he feels. So you really, that's his opinion, yeah. man. And how can you? And he I, put you in the same category with with Jay Prince. I, 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 Jay Prince is in the league of his own. Right. I say like, that. I, I'm I say still, that. I'm I just turned thirty. Like, bro, you know I say that too. But I understand where he's coming from. Far as on the internet side yeah. of it and what he's saying from his perspective, for sure. 
I, I, I get to, why he's saying but that. But to put me above somebody who's been in the game for 40 years right. is kind of like disrespectful. Like, Yeah, but I don't think he meant it that way. I think for the simple fact, I don't take it that way because yeah. I know who Jay Prince is. Jay yeah. Prince is a pillar. Jay yeah. Prince was with he the ghetto boys. Mm -hmm. He paved the way for Fifth Ward boys. I'm that guy, so yeah. I'm from that era. Facts. So I can tell you he did what you – you had a lot of work to do when exactly. it comes to that part. But exactly. what he's talking about from his perspective yeah. on the blogging side and – kind of the things that you've accomplished in your time. Yeah. And you got, shout out to Big D Mogul too. You yeah, know what I'm saying? And and, and 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 Jay Prince, man, respect, man. Yeah. That book, man, it's a beast. No, nah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. But I love what, I love what's, uh, what's, what's going on, man, as far as uh, the way you moving, man. And, and I seen you on Vlad too. Yep. I yep. seen you on Vlad and you said something about you, you you took a little money. He act like he ain't never took no money. I don't know if I believe that. Nigga. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That 30000 yeah. or, or 50000 or 100000 yeah, it's hard to turn down, yeah. bro. Yeah, he said he never took Say, you can say what you want to say. But, uh, Do you I, believe I, him? I, I don't know. I've, I've definitely took money for interviews. <laughs> and I, I've definitely paid to interview people before. Mm -hmm. um, so... I don't know. You never know with people. I just say don't believe everything you read. Don't Facts. believe everything. Of course. <laughs> you of don't course. Know. And even with music, you know, we've spoken that many times that these younger kids are not to believe everything that these rappers be, yeah. you know, rapping about because they take it like that's their life. Exactly. And yeah. It's On that not part. Just, right. And I'm like, that's not real. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm talking about Vlad. Vlad is a, a vlogger. and I know who Vlad yeah, is. Yeah, I know it. But at the end of the day, he... I mean, he human too. Yeah, mm -hmm. we all human, brother. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We <laughs> we all human, man. Yeah. So, so I know when you ahead. started out, you started out by doing um, rappers. Um, yeah, I used to do like freestyles. Freestyles. On the, like on the, on yeah, the yeah, I seen you that. Did the that. That was back when bars and rapping, rapidy rap used to matter. But over time, rap became more melodic, like singing. Mm -hmm. So people didn't care if you could rap good. They still don't. So I went from doing freestyles on like I used to pull up to Oak Cliff and Pleasant Grove. And I know, yeah, like yeah. all the Chicago and used to do freestyles, but it just became like obsolete. Like nobody really checks on freestyles no more. They want to hear your story. Mm -hmm. yeah. They want to hear your war. They want to see the war wounds and they want to see if it's really real. So was it someone who suggested that to you? Why you came up with, it, or is just an nah, idea? No, I did a few. In? I did a few viral interviews, and I was like, "Wow, okay, this shit could really go." Like this girl, uh, she got a viral fight that happened in the locker room. Her name was Jade. Was that the first viral? That interview? was the first one. Okay. And rest in peace, Mo Three. That was his baby mom at the time. Oh, okay. Yeah, but if you go back and look, her name is Jade. Um, she got in a viral fight in, on World Star in the locker room, and I interviewed her, and it did like two million views in a day wow. on World Star. Wow. And I wow. said, I said, I'm going to start mixing that with the freestyles. And then over time, the freestyles became irrelevant because right. niggas don't care about bars. They just want to hear something that sound good. Mm -hmm. They don't care if you can rap. If you can sing and harmonize, people will rock with that. Well, how do you feel about all the people that's popping up? Because you paid away for a lot of this that's going on. Yeah. yeah. How do you feel about that? Do um, you like, like what you're seeing? Like or you think, as far as the, the interviews, the bloggers? I, I really, I look at paying homage, you know. I'd yeah. be like, okay, you. how do you feel about it? How do you think it's going from an over perspective? I love of, it. Of I, OG. Um, <laughs> my OG, nigga. Yeah. yeah, you OG to me now. Yeah, now nah, I see, uh, I love the blog stuff. I see it's, it's paying a lot of bills for people. Okay. Um, you paying no damn bills for us. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. It'll get there. <laughs> I ain't tripping though. We good over here. That's why I don't charge. I can. Vlad ain't the only nigga don't charge for videos. You know what yeah. I'm talking about? I have never charged anyone. Yeah, I, I stopped it only that. been about four months. You yeah, know I stopped doing that three years ago too. I don't <laughs> but, take money for interviews. Yeah, anymore. I don't do it. I, yeah. I've had offers happen. We had yeah. a lot of people in our yeah. DM, and and it's going fast. So I don't, I just don't even pay no attention. But you're very specific about who you bring oh, on you to very, your platform. Very, very. Am I correct? Um, yes, I want to just know like with Charleston White. Like Charleston White was already doing this thing. Um, but I just knew that my audience that are like kids, they will react to what he said. So I feel like I just go for people who I think could bring a reaction to my YouTube channel. Um, and that's just that. Like, you don't have to have a million views. I just feel like if I can get you to say the right thing and have a crazy title, yeah. we could build off that. Yeah. And I know I knew, I didn't even know Charleston White. I just hit him up. I was texting him for like two, three days. Is he still here? Oh. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. You know, he wasn't replying. I'm like, all right, let me find his Facebook because I know he'd be on Facebook. Oh, he's then. a funny acting dude. Oh, <laughs> this dude right here. Oh, I can give you a story, boy. And I then, tell you, you yeah. can't get him when he don't want you to get Man, him. Man, yeah. <laughs> when, when, when he feels some type of way, he's standing. Oh, yeah, that's what he do. So he finally texted me back a day later. And, you know, he got a, he had an Android at the time. Yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, he had an Android at the time. <laughs> so I'm like, damn, okay. Because, you know, 
with an Android, you can't tell if they read your text messages Correct or not. The so moon, I'm, like, though. I'm like, damn, does he not like me or something? Like <laughs> so we finally got it in, and, and the interview was where it was at, and then it finally took off when he went in uh, on Gilly and Gilly the Kid over the little Pop Hunter yeah, yeah, yeah. situation. Yeah, I remember that. And then the rest was history. But Charleston White, I, I just I love what he stands for. So would that be, is that your, I ain't gonna ask you that, but is no, that, what, I no. wanna know is that, is, is who, you you wanted to ask the same yeah, question. You had wrote it down. Yeah, who, who do you th who would you say is your most what impactful or or, or the one you you cherish okay, the most? Okay, let's do it different. Which, which interview is your most impactful, highest yeah. views, and then also which interview is your favorite? Um, it's easy for me. I can in, I can reach out to a lot of rappers right Correct. now and get a million views. Correct. I could I could text Soldier Boy right now. And be like, Yo, let's do it. But Charleston White because he's talking about something. And it may be the truth, it may be the ugly truth, but it's real. Exactly. And wow. I, even some things he say, and I'd be like, damn, why you say that? Or some things I don't agree with, but I know five, 10 years from now, it's gonna mean something. Mm -hmm. I don't know, me, who else, in, are we the only ones around here that done, done interviewed Charleston? <laughs> I in think we're the only yes. ones. Yeah, yep. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. Both of us, At yeah. least I got that in common. I can't do nothing else. I done did that with sure. No, no, no. Yeah, Dallas, <laughs> yeah, Dallas Global and, um, yeah, Dallas Global for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's yeah. up, man. So, so I mean, do you, is it anybody else that you've seen come up quick? Because you love rap, too. You know how to deal with picking yeah. artists and stuff like that. Have anybody impressed you with the way they, they scaled after you had interviewed them? Um, Roddy Rich. I didn't know he was gonna blow. Roddy Rich. I did Roddy Rich in Compton. Really? Yep. And, and he uh, went. Um, and he went. Wow. That, um, like I, I did Roddy Rich interview. Um, I did a lot of people's interview. I got Rod Wave his deal. Really? And then he went on the internet and said, uh, "Fuck me." <laughs> <laughs> Are you wow. serious? Yeah. <laughs> man, people see the nerve of these people, man. He don't owe me nothing. Yeah, I get because it. I mean, now I have so many different. I open so many different doors with people. It's gonna pay out later, and it ain't no beef with him. I, I wish him the most success, and hopefully we'll chop it up soon. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I noticed that you have um, a lot of links with a lot of the big labels. How did you yeah. create that? Because just like Spot him, got him. I don't know if y'all know the yeah, beatbox. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's my artist too. Um, I signed him when he had three thousand followers. So like that, just me keeping building these artists and finding them from nothing. Um, and making them something like Darrow, the artist I got now, he's fresh out of jail. I want to change his Dude, life. I, I look How up. How many to you. artists do you have? Um, like uh, eighteen, but I don't own a hundred percent of all of them. I'm in partnership with some people. Let me say oh, something. Okay, Let me okay. say this. I, I look up to you not because because I'm scared of these rappers. Nigga. <laughs> like like far as I don't trust. Man, I got trust issues. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everybody be like, man, e over the years. Yeah. And I just never. I thought the game wasn't. Like, I guess because I already was flipping. I ain't need mm -hmm. it. It's like, this don't look, for me, it, it seems like it's a lot of disloyalty. It's a lot of disloyalty, um, but I don't get in, I don't get into it to, I know they're going to, my bad, I know they're going to cross me uh, sooner or later. That, that's the way you would have to look at it. I know they're going to cross me sooner or later, but I know we're not friends. This is business. Wow. I'm, we, I know we're not going to eat together when I'm cooking. So you know there's going to be a disconnect I know it's at like some that point. Because you don't really know nobody till they get money. You're right. Because you don't really let me know tell somebody. you something. Everybody talk, they talk about Birdman a lot. Yeah. But when you look at Jay-Z, when you look at Rick Ross with Meek Mills right now, all of these people evolve and grow yeah. apart. I don't know why they give him such a bad rap when yeah. everybody does the same thing, even Puff Daddy. Mm -hmm. Everybody, they still own certain people, masters. Yep. They ain't let them go in over 20 years and 30, you know. Mm -hmm. So I yeah. don't I don't get the, you said something when you said that because mm -hmm. you got to look at it that way. I yeah. never thought of it that way, but I don't know. I'm still nervous about it. Yeah, I mean, but you had your paperwork. You had the paperwork already. Yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Sure all that Rod Wave, I didn't have the paperwork. I didn't know the game. I didn't know my own power. Yeah, that was years ago. That was like three years, four years ago. So I downplayed myself on that, but I learned after that. Was um, he your first artist? Nah, I had a Glock Nine. He signed two. Glock point, Nine. He signed two point five million dollar deal with a uh, Republic. I didn't get a. I didn't get a penny. Wow. But see what I'm saying? But I would go crazy right there. But but you got to say I'm I'm from the streets, man. You yeah, don't do that. But we didn't have paperwork, and then on top of that, um, I can't do it, bro. On, but but on top of that. That's still on my on my resume. Exactly, that's what so, I was thinking. I these people, people, these people, see that. These, Rod Wave can't tell you I didn't do it, and yeah. Glock Nine can't tell you we didn't sign him with nineteen hundred followers and fund his first five music videos wow. and give him money, and they can't deny that. So this is on my resume, whether it's, whether it's on paper or not, it's stamped. 
Okay, you know but question with I all those it. five nah, videos that you funded and everything, did you actually make money back from? I all didn't make of that? no money from that. See what I'm so, saying? So you this lost the part I got yeah, to do. But but it's all good because we make money off of new artists. This is on okay. our rap sheet. Right. They know that. So you were just building your resume. Yeah, just building my resume. Wow, that's crazy, man. I I'm still nervous about it, bro. Yeah, like I like I. Yeah, it's I, a I, fucked up I, game. Like, I know it. That's why. I, Everybody want to rap now, and I just look at them like, nah, you could do something else, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you, don't, yeah. you don't have to. St this is a dark, dark game. Yeah, yeah. You don't got to do this to be. Smoking mirrors. You could, you could own a car wash and still be that nigga, and every Correct. girl's going to want to do something. Correct. You know what I mean? Every girl's going to want to want you because you own something. You don't have yeah. to be a rapper. You don't have to have jewelry and do all that. I just. To be that guy. Cause it's, when I looked at, looked up, looked, looked you up, and I, um, and you're what, 30? Yeah. And I'm like, you're a good businessman. You're yeah, not yeah, only, yeah. Shout out to the business man, at, young brother. You know, real estate. You're talking about the, weed. I got the weed farm. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, that. yeah, I seen that. I mean, yeah. you're dealing with the artists and everything like that. What part of what stage of your life did that kick in, and how did that? Yeah, didn't invest in? some of that damn money. <laughs> no, like the that, been getting no, money for no, a minute. Yeah, some people, I ain't even no, getting money. No, because some people get money and blow it. Somebody the got invested I'm somewhere. Like, did, was it was it what, an influence somewhere? Somebody said something to you. What really made me start like becoming a real businessman was seeing people fall off. Like yeah. I see somebody have four hundred thousand dollars, and then a two a year or two later. Is gone. Yeah, they they name being mentioned in songs. They yeah. get laughed at. Yeah. Um. So just me, the fear of falling off, and the, you know, say cheese is not going to be hot forever. So I need to prepare myself to when it does fall off. It's going to be a young, another young nigga that come with something better. Exactly. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. So anybody can be the new say cheese. So I'm preparing myself to when I fall off. But do you realize the generation that we're in right now, I think everybody, no matter what kind of career you have, have to be a businessman somehow yeah. because even a basketball player, a rapper, they have to be more. Because when we have young rappers come on, we always try to tell them, you have to know every aspect of your yeah. craft, not just I want to rap and that's it. Okay, do you know what your manager does? Do you yeah. know how to do what your manager do does? Do you even need a manager? That's the you first damn point. You things. definitely need a manager. No, I'm talking about the ones who's first starting out. Oh, nah. And they don't have nothing to manage. Nah. And they come to you and say, hey, man, you want to manage me? And you like, manage what? Yeah, them niggas looking for a sugar daddy. <laughs> for real. That's exactly. That's the first step for me. When I look, I said, how many followers you got? Yeah. Well, I ain't got no followers. Well, how many videos you have you ever they did? Looking for They've an investor never, they say that. That's exactly what they're yeah. So you have to correct them and yeah. say, you need a business partner exactly. or somebody, man. Yeah. So I had to learn that. That, yeah. that was that took me a while to understand that whole thing. Yeah, like everybody kept coming and they see we doing our thing and they mm -hmm. want to go too. You mm -hmm. know, I'm being real. Yep. So what do you so how is it Sean Cotton, man? So <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Sean Cotton is in the building, man. Boss talk one oh one. Tell man. me about Master Code. Master Code oh. in, in Atlanta. In Atlanta. No, I was booked at that event to talk to kids. Okay. In you didn't make it? I made it. Oh, okay. Man, I went wild. <laughs> I'm I flew, just messing with I flew you. my dad out, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah, me and my dad went. So how was it? It was great. Uh, just to talk to just the kids. Just dealing with and, the kids. Don't that feel yeah, good? It feels great, man. That's my thing. Like, you know, besides the money is just um, just getting these, giving these kids an opportunity to, to do something. I think that's why we link with y'all in the way we do because mm -hmm. we all yeah. kind of do the same thing yeah. and it kind of just kind of, it fits. You got to yeah. give back. When God has blessed you so much with so many things, you have to give back because a lot of this younger generation is lost. Very lost. Yeah. And yeah. it's because so, it's of social media. All they follow is rappers. So like I told you earlier, they want something real quick. And if not, they'll rob or kill or do anything to get it. I got to speak on the big elephant in the room for me. Uh, Mo3. My yeah, guy. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mo three yelling, all the stuff that happened with Trap Boy and all that. Every time I would hear about that, I would hear Sean Cotton is the okay. one that was in the middle of that. Um, no, it was because I was the I came up with all three of them. So okay, you got to understand. I, yeah, and I remember that. Yeah, I, I remember I, you the only one that interviewed them. Yeah, that I really can so think of. I would interview somebody, and then they'd be like, "No, that's not true. Let me get an interview. Let me tell my piece." And that's how I came really came about. Okay, um, but. Um, I tried to sit them down a lot of times. Call Trap Boy Freddy right now. And I tried to like, yo, let's like let's do this shit for the city. Let's do a song yeah. together. And one day one of them would be like, let's do it. And then the next day he would be like, no, uh, I don't want to do it. So they could never see each other eye to eye. The wow. I, a lot of times. Call Trap Boy Yeller right now. I, you, I, tried to, you tried to mend together. I tried to do it all. And Jay Prince went to Mo3 house. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, so that's true. Mo3 called me the next day. was like, man, 
I didn't know what dude dude came by himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I he heard about that. He told me. He called me. He was like, man, um, uh, Jay Prince came to my crib by himself. Super OG. He didn't come with a lot and of guys. He said, I had a lot of my guys with me. I didn't know what was going on. And so, so did he feel like, okay, I want to turn it down or it's turned up forever? I, I can't forget what he told me word for word, but it was kind of like, uh, it was it was too late, you know? It was too late. And I, man, I'm telling you, you know, I even did an interview with Mo3, like, yo, what can be done? Uh, can a, can we do a charity event, a boxing match, anything? Yeah. And it, it didn't, it didn't happen. It wasn't going to happen. Yeah. And, yeah. and I, I called Trap Boy about that a few times. Yeah, yeah. So, so how do we bring the city back together? That's been my big thing. I ask everybody that come on this platform, how can we fix? Mm -hmm. it, and it's always going to be. Violence. Yeah, it was violence before that happened. Yeah, it was violence yeah. before their. Beef. It, it was violence before before their beef. Them. Yeah, it was. It was more about a like a somebody got jumped at a club. Yeah, and that's really what sparked it. Um, but but no, nah, it was beef before that. It was like real, you know, beef. So I just think Mo three would mention my name in, in in a few records, and people knew thought I knew more than what I knew. Yeah, but it would make you look a certain way. It would make me look like me and Mo three are like he's telling me everything, and me and him like we. You know, uh, Batman and Robin, but it was never like that. Like when when I would talk to Mo three, most of the times it was about music. Yeah. Like the last time we spoke, it was weird though. You know, uh, the last time we spoke, it was really weird because he got his teeth done, and I was like, "Why'd you go away to Columbia, Doctor Rose? He from Dallas." Like, and he was like, uh, "Man, no, nah, I'm done with Dallas. I'm." Wow. That was the first time I really? ever heard him say that. Yeah, that was, and this is exclusive I'm getting you. Wow. Yeah, that was the first time I heard him that was like really anti-Dallas because he's usually Dallas. Dallas. Mm -hmm. I'm going to Big T. I'm getting my jewelry from this guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. But this time, with this last time I spoke to him, I was in Detroit and I called him and I was like, why are you, uh, why'd you go to Columbia? He was like, man, I'm moving, man. I'm, go I'm about to move to San wow. Francisco. Really? And yeah, man. You think I'm, that was because Boosie and him had been riding and he'd been telling him? I don't, I didn't. Because really, I seen him on a few interviews right before all of this. Yeah, I don't really know, man. But that was the last time I talked to him and something was really off. He, he probably felt like he needed to leave the yeah, city. Yeah, he, he knew something I didn't know. He wouldn't tell me. Because like wow. I said, we never got too deep, too deep into, into that. it. Yeah, we yeah. never did. Well, I mean, like I said, my thing is, man, um, y'all all around the same age. You may be a couple of years older than them or a yeah. year older than them. Yeah. So it makes sense, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Mm -hmm. From the outside looking in. Yeah. I always say that from the outside looking in, it makes sense that 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 you would have been in that era because you you done yeah. a lot for music in Dallas, man. Yep. You really know, like for me, when I seen it, I was proud of Dallas. Even though you, what, you know, you basically say you're from Philly. We, man, we, I'm from the Philly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nigga, we made this the Dallas yeah, thing. Yeah, How old were you when you moved here? Man, I was like, because we moved to Oklahoma, my mom and dad was in the military. What part of Oklahoma? Let me Lawton. shout it out. Lawton, Oklahoma, yeah, Lawton, man. Oklahoma. Shout out to BC. So he how was old when you got to night. Dallas? I was like seven. Okay, yeah. so he's still a kid. Yeah, Seven. I'm still a kid, yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's why I say, well, like, if you Google Yo, my you name. from Dallas, man. Yeah, if you Google my name, it says Arlington, you had Texas. To, you, had to, you ever had to... Uh... Hey, I tried it one time. <laughs> 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 and it's funny, because I was in Philly with it. So I went, I had, like, the duck tail, and I went yeah, to yeah, Philly yeah. with it. They like, what the they hell is that? Like, what the hell is that? Yeah. <laughs> like, nigga, I'm yeah. coming with it, nigga. I'm yeah. from Dallas right now. Yeah. So but what it, would you say is the most controversial interview you've done to date? Um, G Money. Why um, was it controversial? Right after I interviewed him, a month later, he got killed Wow! in Baton Rouge. And um, a lot of people thought it was because of that interview, but he was doing diss records of course. before my interview. So I just feel like it's all about timing. You know, the fans say everything. You know, they they, they think anything and they'll say anything. But Do you ever reply to any of that that you hear, like, something that's yeah, so, that so shit, controversial? Yeah, like that, that shit hurt because— a lot of in a lot of my interviews, I'll ask about the beef, but my interviews are way more than the beef. Like we talk about current events, music. Yeah. Um. You know, I, I dig into the person. You know, do you do drugs? Have you ever had a nine to five? But the fans love drama. Yeah. You know, we they could, feed off of it. Don't but you? I love noticed it. with the interviews, you you do ask a lot of questions, but I noticed you never ever get give your point of view. Hardly. Never. Never. I, I just get their. I get their point of view. How they feel. I don't. Um. I don't instigate it. I don't hype them up. Like when my interview with Mo Three about Trap Boy, um. He wanted to sit and well, you can watch it. It's had almost a million views. Right. He, he wanted to sit down with Trap Boy and um. 
And you know, I wasn't I wasn't amping them up and trying to make them feel untouchable. I'm like, yo, let's do like let's do it. I've done a lot of things. Uh, I did a Dallas vs. Everybody record with Mo Three, wow. and I had all the Dallas artists on it. This was 2014. Um, but yeah, so I, it looked like you tried. You tried to man, do I it. Man, I try to do it. You're a not lot, a bad man. guy. Yeah, You're not a bad guy. guy. Hey, man. Man. Sean Cotton's not nah, a bad guy. Man. Man. I, I try to do a lot, but I just don't want to come off as the clout chaser. No, no, I no. don't want to. I don't. I wanna, think you done grown too big for even yeah. the, even to look a certain I, I way. Wanna, I don't want to. I didn't want to be on the phone and be like, yeah, I just called Mo Three and Trap Boy Freddie. And yeah, I'm trying to do this for yeah, the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I'm, that I've ain't never. True. I all the things I've done behind the scenes was for it was genuine. Yeah, and that's so crazy because that's the one thing that we always said when we started this we said we want to use our platform to help people yeah. so even when artists or anybody come on because we don't just talk to artists we do mental health we Facts. do circus we do anything because the mics are very powerful even being a musician people are listening mm -hmm. to you why not help educate you know the people that are out there exactly so that's what we use our platform for because i remember i spoke to a lady once and i'd never ever know that there are people who stay in the house and never leave the house never they call Groceries, they call, they yep. do not leave the house at all. Exactly. And that was shocking when I heard that. So all they do, watch TV, stay on social media, mm -hmm. stay, watch YouTube, whatever. And someone could come on your platform and help that person to step out of that house because mm -hmm. people don't listen to somebody they know. Yep. They listen to people that they don't know. Yep. Wow. So that's the reason why we do this because I always, we always pray that God lead our platform to who needs to hear Especially it. if you take a picture with a pile of money or some jewelry, yeah. they're going to take your word over their parents. Let me ask you this. What what, what do Sean Cotton, have? what's been the most creative thing well, as far as uh, uh, maybe uh, uh, one of your fans or supporters? They don't like to be called fans. No more. <laughs> mm -hmm. Supporters. One of your supporters came out and like, man, you did this, and when you said that, it helped me. Um, to not rush it. I feel like, like I said earlier, people rush things. Um you may not see any profit from your ideas after four or five years, but when that profit come, it's going to come yeah. and it ain't going to stop. So, um, and, um, that's really it, man. Stop, stop. Um, another quote is this really, uh, stop believing in the internet. It's all a lie. It's a lie. It's all I've a heard lie. that a lot. It's all a lie. But then I'd be like, man, I'm trying to be real. Yeah, it's all a lie. I'm being real, and everybody else might be trying to be fake. Yeah, we yeah. try to be a hundred percent, you know, transparent. But it's it's hard because you got so many people lying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? So we sitting over here telling the truth. Nope. <laughs> but you know what? But that, that's it. but the thing is that you can't care about another person, what they say or what they do or whatever, because you can't control nobody else but yourself. Mm -hmm. And that's what people need to realize is that control on you. Control your thoughts, control what you do, because that's the only thing you can control. Even your kids. You can tell them what to do or what not to do, but at the same time, when you turn your back, yep. they're going to do what they want to do anyway. Yep. So yeah. you really can't control nobody else but you. But you. Yeah. And lead by example and hopefully that they follow. Yep. You what know would, what I mean? What would the 30-year-old Sean Cotton say to the the guy that started off interviewing to help, that, help him to make sure he make strong movement when he's moving forward? What, how would you talk to that guy? If you was talking to yourself, what would you say to yourself? To, to, to better what, where you've come to today. Um, if if I could be honest, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't change. You wouldn't anything. change a thing. I think I did. I think I did. Think what you I was did it right. I'm not perfect. I got a lot of flaws, but yeah. Um, just read more. Um, just learn more. Really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Know. Like yeah, yeah. Just read more. Just read. That's more. not bad. I mean, that's a good thing. Um. That's a good question because I ask people a that a lot. Because what would you say to you? I ask myself that often. Like, how would I say? How would I address me back? I wouldn't have listened. I can tell you that right now. Yeah. Oh, I'd have been like, who is this cat? Damn, that's a good question. Um, so un unless you're gonna answer that one anymore, but let me move on to something else. Um, are oh, you good? Go ahead. Dude. Are there any interviews you've ever done that you have not put out? A lot. That's <laughs> us. A lot. I'm not playing. Do like, they be calling you and be like, "Where my interview yet?" Da, 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 da. Yep. Uh, I do that. Money. Oh, uh, I did. Why do you do it? I did. Yeah, I, I did money. I did Money Man's first interview. Um, if y'all know who that is, yeah, mm -hmm. I definitely know who that is. I did. Um. So yeah. why didn't you put them out? I did Raw Wave interview. What made you not put them out? They just were awkward. They, you didn't feel like it was it, they, they. It was like their first interviews ever, so you know maybe they were nervous, stuttering. Yeah, 
it was just kind of like it didn't. Oh, Uzi, I did Uzi. I never put it out. See, um, yeah, yeah it just and was, even with the editing, you the couldn't edit it to make wasn't it good, or maybe they just were too shy. They yeah. were answering one word, you know, they yeah. weren't really explaining themselves. So yeah, it's been some Thank you. some big heavy hitters I haven't put out. Have you ever thought about reaching back out to them and be like, hey, let's do another interview? Oh uh, yeah, me and Money Man did one last year. Um, me and Uzi was supposed to get one in, but he's he's a megastar now. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then the whole the raw wave stuff. shit was just like whatever. Wow, I mean you you can't go back and change. And then you got a a, a lot of people that's that's wanting to be on say cheese. This mm-hmm. is their biggest dream. I heard that's what one artist told me. <clears throat> just this weekend, he was like, "All I got to do to blow up if I can get on say cheese." Yeah, I yeah, yeah. See, feel it's that. up. A lot of a lot of the, the negative things you hear about me, you never hear that I owe somebody money, or you'll never, never hear heard that, uh-uh. or you'll never hear that I, I my artists are in bad situations. You, it's just the people who want to work with me. Those are the people who find negative things to say about me. But I mean. You'll hear things about the Mo Three and Trap Boy stuff, which I understand because I interviewed them all at around the same time. I had to ask that because that's the thing no, that yeah. everybody's going to want to yeah, know. Yeah, no, 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 for sure. I don't feel no type of way. But if you ask them three artists the same thing you ask me, and they're gonna be like, "No, nah, like Sean, he really tried." Like, yeah, I just wasn't on the internet with it. Like, yeah. So, yeah. What do you feel about DMX? What's your point of views on him? Yeah, because give it up. Yeah, give it up. We want to know. <laughs> um. Damn, like, what do you... As how, in, as in okay, being on the drug uh, on drugs so long, and he went to rehab so many times, and then he overdosed. Because um, we've met Allegedly. So many, allegedly. Because I've heard that it could have been the, the shot yeah. Yeah, that I heard killed that too. him. Yeah, I heard that too. But at the same time, it's a case where, like the person we had interviewed yesterday, he um, was on drugs for a long, 20-something years, he overcame it after he went to prison. And after that, he never went back on drugs. Yeah. Um, and he smells it every day. He has the feeling for it every day, but yeah. he had not. That's, so That's what, a hard question to ask him because he don't do drugs. I've never tried drugs. I know. Ever. don't know but nothing about this. Your, but what are your views on Um, it? I have an aunt um, that's heavy on drugs. You can go to Philly right now, West Philadelphia, and you can see her walking. Mm-hmm. So it's real. Um, and she's still, she's been fighting it for 20 years, so. But when you think about celebrities and how much money supposedly they should have, where they should have the help to really recuperate from this disease. Yeah, but money, but money, on. money makes you make money makes you 10 times who you really are. So I don't know, like, yeah, they said he was on it when he was younger. And then I don't know, cause I don't, I've never tried drugs ever. Like I've never been high, like ever. I've never smoked one time. Yeah, so, so I he never, don't know I, nothing. I, I don't know. You asked me about that. I smoked a little weed back yeah. in the day. Uh, 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 but, you know, but uh, we know uh, we know how Charleston just, White feel about it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. We definitely know how Charleston <laughs> White feel about it. So okay, uh, top three artists of all time, man, dead or alive. One of the things you've probably uh, seen me do. Top three. I gotta have three though. Only three. Um, dead or alive. Tupac, Wayne, Quick, Kanye. Quick, dang. Yeah. Two, we ain't never got them that quick. Mm-hmm. Tupac, why? Wayne, Kanye. For, why? For which one? Why any of them? Um, Tupac, because the influence still. He been gone for twenty plus years and still the influence. Remember when he was wearing the Red Wings hockey jersey and yeah. spitting at him yeah. out of first? Uh-huh. People are still recreating and and is this the influence? And go look at the interviews now. I mean that he did back then. They mm-hmm. still. You know, today yeah. they still yeah. stick. Yeah. So the influence and the passion. I don't think artists had the passion that he had. You know, everything everything now is for a quick buck. He really wanted the world to be a better place. Mm-hmm. So um, that's that. Kanye um, got that bread. Kanye. Yeah, just, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. Recreation. Kanye being himself, going against the grain. Yeah. Like people thinking he's crazy, and um, him jumping off the porch and doing what he believes. It takes a strong person to a million people, a billion people calling you crazy and you overcome. Do you think he was really crazy as in like something mentally wrong with him? I think all the crazy people, all the crazy people like the Michael Jacksons, the R. Kelly's, the Bill Cosby's, they're really geniuses. We call them crazy, but they're really geniuses to me. Hey, I'm going to be honest. I never turned my back on Kanye and I'm still a big fan and he's my number two. Yeah. He's my strong number two. Kanye musically and as a creative. You know, mm-hmm. 
-hmm. you know you know pmc my number one but he is my number two (laughs) you hear me he is my number two like i i love what he done and i love the fact of how like you just said he goes against the grain and he don't care what nobody think about what he says he's wide open and he's great musically and as a creative i agree off the court and on the court and then wayne is just wayne Wayne out of another his world. weird one. Another weird one. Yeah. He picked another uh, one who so, they would say was so, crazy with the way he was looking. Wayne, at him. Yeah, Wayne just mute, like lyrically out of this world. Um, his work ethic. I don't think people understand his work ethic. Like he was like the Floyd Mayweather of rap. Like he didn't go to sleep until he did three quality songs a day. So mm-hmm. to me, he outworked the competition. He, exactly. So to me, it was just like um, in his influence. People can say what they want to about his his drug addiction and things like that, but I'm talking about purely work ethic, Wayne. Hypothetically, what do you want to see uh, Say Cheese at at its at its highest point? Um, I want to break, keep breaking artists, make more. I just want to keep changing lives. Um, I want to do more for the youth too. I don't feel like I'm doing everything that I should be doing. Um, having more people, a street team of guys who you know, I want to keep these kids busy. And um, the weed farm, Say Cheese Farms, I want to become a billionaire off that. Wow. And uh, I just want to open more businesses. I don't want to just be stuck in this blogger, journalist world. Because people be trying to put me in a box. Yeah. I don't want to be stuck in a box. How did you come up That's with the name Say Cheese? That's what I was about to ask you. Say Cheese. How did you come up with that? Shit, the name? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I know it's like Say Cheese, Cheese, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. You're on camera. Say I don't cheese. know. It just came to me. That's what I'm saying. How did you like one I day you was like, I'm going to do it? It just sounded. It just, I don't That's fuck. a marketing. I didn't, I didn't want to, I didn't want to come up with a, like, it's a lot of different um, media outlets that are too, uh, they're not marketable like uh, as far as like uh, Get Money TV or uh, hood, 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 Block the Block, you know, shit mm-hmm, like that. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. It just was a name that rolled off the tongue. And, and it stuck. And it stuck. Like, that's so. what's up. So, so you, you like boxing? Yeah, I, I used to um, box. Well, I wasn't a boxer, but I used to train a lot. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You talking about boxing? Boxing, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that, yeah. That's something to my cardio and. Just to stay busy, it's more like a hobby. I ain't out here trying to fuck nobody up. Niggas ain't fighting no more, no way. <laughs> because yeah. I saw something on TMZ that talked about um, Game wanting to fight that Logan Paul. Oh, for real? Yeah. Is no, it Mayweather fight. fighting one? Maywe- Mayweather is fighting him. But then Game put something on social media saying, yo, meet me outside. He's trying to get the- back on, hell. Yeah, we ain't heard from street, Game in a minute street now. Street fight, street fight. But game go hard in what he does, I guess. But hey, I'm not a, I'm not, I'm from, I'm from Texas, man. I ain't, I'm sorry, Sean Cotton, but uh, yeah, I, I take this serious down here, man. Oh, uh, what you yeah, say, Sadie? Being from Texas, oh yeah, I take it very serious. So when she bring up these out of towners, you know, mm-hmm. for me, I felt like the South. <laughs> thank you for what you've done in the South. Yeah, you know, because we needed this, you know, and I feel like we we needed that light to shine on us. To right. be honest with you, yeah. and so that's part of this platform being here as well, having a place where people can come and be seen in a way to where they can tell their story. Yeah, you know, that's important to me. Yeah, man, you know, I, I appreciate it. I try to do. Uh, what I can for the city, and I'm gonna keep doing You're it. You're doing it. You know, Cash Page. Uh, that's yeah, my, that's my artist too. You got a lot of damn artists, yeah. man. He said he had what 16, 17, like 18. 18. And they keep. How do you pick them? What, what do you just say? Um, oh, he's good. I'm, I'm gonna getting, pick him. I'm getting better with it, but um, uh, just really just uh, work ethic and what that, are you doing it for? Yeah, you ever have to cut one all the time. Like you got to go. I can't do it. No yeah, more. I just can't do it. It's yeah. because of trouble and stuff like that. Um, yeah, and then no you know, dedication. If you don't work, yeah, people just losing focus. You know, they get a hundred thousand followers, they stop recording, man. Just not. I think being they themselves. made it. I think they made it. You ain't make shit. I know people with. I know, man. Look, outside of uh, outside of mogul media, because uh, I know he he told me you know he looked up to you and and he talked to you before he did his. Thing. Yeah. Who else have you influenced in a way to where? They seen you and they they started their their the platform. Blog, platform. I don't take credit for stuff. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. I'm asking though. Nah, he's I a don't. very humble person. Okay, what I'm, I'm asking he's who is who has they could have been mentored by him. Basically, he helped them to get on to tell show them you didn't show nobody. How, I didn't show people how to work these damn cameras, yeah. man. Um, nobody. It's a lot of people who were influenced, but you don't have to name them. But you do you do give back in that way. Definitely, if somebody hit me up in the you don't be trying to hide the information. Nah, never. never. Okay, you don't seem like that kind of nah, guy. Nah, never at all. You don't seem that nah. bad off. 
What do you think? You looking at him? What do you think? Mm, Take a good look at it. Okay, so you're single, right? No. Nah. No, nah, that boy got a girl. He can't be out here single with all that money. <laughs> I got I a damn weed kid. for him. The man got 40 acres uh, and a mule, <laughs> and he didn't get it from the right folks. You know? <laughs> Man, I, I love your your entrepreneur spirit, man. You you really you know you you remind me of myself in my younger days. Yeah, not really, but still, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't gonna hold your time up, man. No, Anything you good. else you got you got for Sean? No, baby. I know you had a bunch of questions. See, I don't, I don't I ask the she asked a good question. Yeah, I come from the dome, as Facts. you know. No, so that's not that's that's how I go. Yeah, I be just trying to really figure out what's going on in the city. I had half pint. Everybody, oh, that's a. Damn, yeah. there it is. That's my question right there. It just hit me. So you and Half Paint, yeah, mm -hmm. y'all have had some uh, differences. Well, yeah, we have had yeah, no yeah, yeah, yeah. He said you didn't play his music over there. You won't play his stuff now. I, I remember nah, he was on here last uh, time. Something happened. I don't nah. know the real instant. I asked the question and he gave it up. He was like, yeah. "No, nah, man," because I heard him say it on another stream. I don't know who he said it on, but I was looking at it. He yeah. said that you don't you 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 don't rock with him no more. Nah. You guys are able to build a bond back together? Yeah. Can, can he call you and and, yeah, and we and, talked after that? Uh, okay. Uh, I had paid one of his friends to rebuild my car. That's it. I, yeah. I, dog, and I know I, I'm on it. See, I'm from yeah. the dome. Out of Fort Worth, uh, I don't want to say his name. Okay, you don't have to say his but, name. Uh, I had paid one of his close friends to to rebuild my car, and this is a car that I had when I didn't have anything. So okay. it was an emotional attachment. Okay, and um, yeah, he didn't do it. He didn't do it. He didn't do it, and it was like five grand. And because it was his friend, it, it brought y'all. That's to like me going to your house, stealing the pillows off your couch, and then you paying. You still, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. With him. Yeah, it's just a weird feeling. Like, yeah, so you felt like I that kind of like, made things. Yeah, I couldn't. Uneasy. I, I didn't feel real not saying nothing, so I just fell back from half pint. Okay, okay, because y'all y'all both doing your thing. I Man, ain't gonna I, lie. I, I, I fuck with half pint. It ain't, it's nothing. Um, y'all both bad at yeah, what you it's do. It's nothing. Um, it's nothing personal. It's just business. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Like. Damn, like this is a car I had, like, and you, your your homie looked at me in my eyes and took my money. And yeah, didn't he? Didn't you know I paid for a service? Wow, that's like me pay, somebody paying for a post on say cheese and and me not delivering. Not doing it. Then what? But how does how, how does half pint correct it though? He he can't correct it. You just told him about it and it made you feel like mm -hmm. odd after that. I mean, he tried to correct it. Uh, he um. His friend told me my car back, but the car was was damaged. It was it wasn't no good. And that's know. the way that's the way these car mechanics, these damn mechanics, boy. Yeah. So. Charleston spoke on the mechanics on my platform. <laughs> man. You know what I'm saying? He was doing it in a good Wait, way. What do you say? No, nah, he, he was say? talking about it in a good way. He was just saying that that if you can work on a car, you know, basically can get them girls. you can get them women. But this nigga couldn't get no women because he messed your damn car up and. Nigga, mess, remember that dude that came on the show? I told him he messed my grandma mm -hmm. car. It's yeah. something about a mechanic when they can't, you know, and, get and, you right. And I could be on here, you know, bad talking, half pine, and I'm not on nah, that. Nah, come on, man. I, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't expect I, I, that. I like what he's doing, you know. And, and one day we'll get past this, but for now I'm still like I'm upset about it. Man, that. I like it. He, you know he what see, I'm he feel a certain type of way, like, but you say, but but I like the part where he say we can get past. Yeah, it. we mm -hmm. ain't out here trying to kill. No, no, no. But like, it can be. It's just a conversation. Maybe it's like the bridge can be built. Yeah, just like damn, like. Like five grand. That's a lot. It's I a got lot. hit. It, I got it, hit. I could give you stories. I got guys dang. that got me, but it was on the clothing. And it was like, you spend money and they say, oh, I'm going to come through. I'm yeah. going to come by. And they don't come. So it make your business bad. And they don't, it, it, it really don't make your business bad, but they don't stand behind their word and mm -hmm. make you feel some type of way. You know what I mean? So it don't make your business bad. God still keep blessing. You yeah. could buy a hundred cars like that exactly. now. Quit playing, man. It was just the principle. You know, when somebody, let, when you let something slide, more people think they, they could do, you know what I mean? Okay, so, so who's uh, who? Let me ask this question mm -hmm. for I forget. You know I'm old. Okay, go ahead. Uh, far as uh, artists in Dallas, wait a minute, Bobby Billions. Uh, didn't he say that Mo three heard his his music on your platform or something? I think like? so. Yeah, that's Bobby what he Billions, said. Bobby Billions invested in the Say Cheese. That's posting, what he said. And Mo three. One thing about Mo three, he was like really in tune with what we posted. Yeah. So he would I, like, I didn't want to miss that. That's yeah, good. Yeah, he would find he would find. Uh, Talented artist and one thing about Mo Three, if he liked you, he'll comment. Yeah, he jumped on and that. Yeah, he wasn't he wasn't doing no tripping. Like, yeah, Mo yeah. Three so, was a real loving so person. So did you you did you see the Bobby Billion thing happening? Um, yeah. When it when it first started to take off. Yeah, I seen him do the freestyle. And I was like, oh wait, and then it, it just became like a viral thing. You mm -hmm. know, people was already wanting him to release the record, 
and then when he passed, that's when it recirculated again. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, it, it, yeah, it started from a say. That's what I thought. That's what that's what I, I see. Yep. So yeah, that's Mo three up. Mo three showed his love, and he didn't know him from a can of paint. No, I know. I yeah, see that. You see what's going on now. I know. Yeah. I see the, the trap in here because he had never yeah. met him. So yeah. he he's done a song now with with trap yeah. boy and. I don't know the end. I, I, yeah. I had reached out to Bobby Billions. I was like, man, yeah. I want to get him on. Uh, I would like to talk yeah. to him. How do you feel about him doing a song with Trap? I feel like he didn't ever meet Mo3. I, and I feel like he, if he's genuinely doing songs with whoever because he's just doing his art, I, I, don't, I don't see a problem mm. with it. Yeah. Am I wrong for that? Uh I, I understand why people will be But upset, I would understand the other side, it too. It is business, too. He didn't know Mo3 personally. But if Mo3 didn't reach out, it wouldn't know. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of like, but then why they do you say always. He gave the song away, though, gave it to I him. don't know the ins and outs, but then why do we always got to choose sides? Why can't we just. I don't know, man. So we, I, but, I, but I see both. I see both. You know, he's trying to do good things for the city, and I don't know. But, and then was it too soon? Did he link with him too I'm soon? I'm going to tell you something. I, I had know. somebody on my platform that basically uh, was, uh, they said something about Kobe. It was kind of like what Charleston did with the DMX. My co-host, he's not here today, but uh, he went to jail today, mm -hmm. I believe. Damn. So, yeah, it happens, man. But he gonna, we going to get him out of there. Damn, I put the every, day I, the day yeah, I came. Yeah, yeah, that's my guy, man. You know, he wanted to meet you, too. We <laughs> talked about you this morning. Um, you know, but anyway, man, um, the thing I can say, man, is, is, is that not that threw my whole interview off talking about my boy, man. I shouldn't even brought him up. You know, <laughs> I feel some type of way. Charleston, you know I feel some type of way about that, man. I shouldn't have said it. <laughs> it threw me off. But so so do do you think that uh say cheese is uh, um I mean Vlad is big man Vlad them is boys young. up in California and how was it going on that show Oh uh, I love Vlad I study Vlad if you could tell Oh I yeah. could tell Yeah I study Vlad I, I stole a lot of his uh juice I mean we're not juice cuz he's he, he doing his thing but what? I stole his blueprint But did you feel like when you went to see it did it before you know when you went on it was it the same as you thought it would be Nah you I was like nah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like, nah. That's a good but question. um, but yeah, I study uh, I study Vlad, and Vlad take for me too. He take my he take my guess. Yeah, I, I know. He take my guess. I seen. <laughs> you know, I'm talking about you putting that ball on. You know? he take my, but but I love it because I want I want to do interviews with people, and then the next step is Vlad. It's always like I look at life as a family tree. If I could put you in position to grow, why not? Yeah. Well, how did you I feel when mad, they said that he I was? Culture vulture. You know? Nah, Vlad's been doing a lot of uh, grinding for years. Okay. Passing out CDs. Respect. He's not one of them Jews who, uh, you know, had a little money and tried to get in. He's he. Vlad is a part of the culture. Okay. I don't agree with a lot of things he says, but who does? You can't agree with yeah. everything everybody says. Yeah. And, and even if you, like, don't agree with him, I mean, you can agree to disagree. It's nothing Facts. wrong with that. And um, I, uh, I wasn't mad when Vlad uh, brought Charleston White up. You yeah, know, uh, yeah. Because a lot of people was like, "Man, you nah." Because nah. nah. one thing about Charleston White, he still hit me up and check on me. Yo, you Listen, good? Man. How you feeling? We don't talk he about did. interviews or nothing. We just be like, "Yeah, you nah. small talk." Yeah. Like, "Yo, you good? Good?" Yeah. So I, I don't feel no, I don't feel no type of way. But you know, Vlad, he watches say cheese because yeah. he see who doing that thing and he bring him on this show. Yeah. And I'm like, cool. I'm like, man, I did that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I mean, you came from nothing, bro. Facts. So you got to realize that's that's not something that happens every day. Exactly. So and for you to be business savvy enough to keep it going. Exactly. As long as you have, mm -hmm. that's I applaud you, brother. Right. Because I know what it is to stay in business like that. You got to be you got to be focused like ever. Yep. What you think? Competitors right. and You're all totally type of right. stuff. Yeah, yeah. Everybody talking down, and and then some people who do. You think they got your best interest? You don't know if they really, really real with what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. You got to be smart. You got to believe in God too. Yeah. I don't care what you say. God got to be somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> being yeah. real, no, man. Facts. Because you you can't do this stuff in and in, in stay sane. I got a question. Um, how do you feel about Jackie Chan? Oh. And, <laughs> and and him um, giving his money away to charity instead of giving it to his son. It's kind of messed up. <laughs> it's, it's it's really messed up. Like like damn, you you worth three hundred fifty million, and your son won't get none of that when you pass. I'll, and he has a daughter too. He has a daughter, but I really think he was speaking on his son because son. his son's been in a lot of legal right. issues with right. drugs. Exactly. So, I mean. How many chances is too many chances, you know? Because that was my point of view. And, you know, he disagreed, told, uh, uh -uh. He disagreed with you me. Because first, when it came up, I was like, um, 
I wouldn't give it to him because he keep messing it over, spending it. Like, why are you going yeah, to give crutch. it to somebody else? You, it, who, it, it, it becomes a crutch. Like, you keep giving people money. That's not helping them. No, nah, but I, I still say, you know, at the end of the day, if he if he don't get what about if he put it in a trust and he makes sure it gets to the next generation and the next generation? You can do things but there's to no around evidence, that. But, there, but there's no evidence from his past actions that he's going to do that. No, the trust, it can't set up that way in advance. Can oh, you're talking about yeah, a trust? Talking, yes. You're talking about a trust fund? Yes, yes, oh, okay, a trust okay, fund. okay. I thought you were talking no, about No, I'm not him. We son. can't trust that dude. Oh, okay, okay. No, but we can put something in place <clears throat> yeah, to no. where it can carry on to the generations yeah. to come. Don't be ignorant, You don't man. even know if it's come time on, man. Even I think kids. Jackie Chan was really trolling, though. Yeah, you think <laughs> yeah. at this t- late I age, this trolling. dude is more popular than anybody. Yeah. And his son is 38. He's older. Oh, you think he was trolling? I think he was trolling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This trolling thing is something different for me, too. I'm trying to get used to it. <laughs> well, hey, man, we love you. Man, love you, too, man. I'm going to be honest with you, man. If I got it's so, I, I got to ask him. I got to let him know something. Mm-hmm. I'm, I, I give out awards. I gave Charleston one, and mm-hmm. I didn't know I, you was going to be here today. Else, mm-hmm. I'd have had you on here because I respect you. Right. When I get it, I want to be able to give it to you. I'm, I'm being honest. I'll come back you. and get it for the yeah. round two. Yeah, I we'll just want to. I just, two. I just want to give it to you because I like to give roses. I'm the only one I think to do that. I don't know if I'm give roses while you. Yeah, I give hard. a plaque. You know, to, to the ones who I feel say like. Thank you for the. Yeah, man, you don't done. have to be here. You don't have to do the stuff that you're doing, yeah. and to be consistent as long as you have, I would love to do that. Yeah, that's hard, man. I I'm appreciate telling it, you. and I definitely been watching you. And um, I've done it with it. Uh, Mike Jones. Nobody gave him marketing genius. He's Mark that number. I called on Mike Jones because of this guy right here too. I was like, I got to get Mike Jones. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, Say yeah, to yeah. you, got Mike Jones. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike Jones. I, Mike Jones, a good dude. It he? He's misunderstood. I, I like him though. Yeah. I like him, man. I like him a lot because of the things that he showed me. A stand up dude, man. Yeah. Every time I see him, he been back twice. Yeah. And and I did that he, too. He lives in Dallas, right? I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, I just did a lot of people. I, a lot of people that really like George T Town. I felt like doing the DSR yeah. thing. I had to give him. I got to give you a plaque, bro. For sure, man. I, I appreciate to, it. And it's gonna come. It. And people are like just surprise. Hell, I can't surprise. I got to get him back to tell him I want to bless him. Yeah, because mm. I um. On my way here, I'm like, damn, Charleston White, he got me in Pleasant Grove. Like, oh, <laughs> nah, man, we hood. be chilling. He know how it is over this here. Is over here, get crazy though. No, no, area? not no. not here. No, no. no. Uh, Police be around here all the time. Nah, so. It's Bar Springs. Yes, sir. Uh, but it's still on the on the cuffs. Yes. We get those customers. They come here. Yeah. Uh, they come here. Been here 15 years, so yeah. of course they come over here. But at the end of the day. I mean, it's kind of how you it's move. It's safe. Yeah. We, we, it's we, safe. We, we move different, man. We, we love God, but we move different. We've been here. I've seen kids grow up. Yeah. I, these families are So you from here. Dallas? No, I'm from East Texas. Shout out oh, to East okay. Texas, man. Stop okay. playing. What, Tyler, man. Texas? No, nah, go on down in the Further woods, back. man. I'm down oh. by the Caddo Lake, man. Stop playing. I go looking for alligators and stuff <laughs> like that. But I've been up here for 30-some years, man. Stop. <laughs> you from Dallas, too? What? Oh. She's from, from Jamaica, Jamaica, man. Oh, okay. Yeah, Damn. she over there. Yeah, yeah, I had to go to Jamaica and get no, it. No, I trip. knew you were going to come for that. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 but man. My, but my next question, this my is last, the last question. question. No, you yeah. good. You good. I'm chilling. My last question is about what are your views on on Kevin Samuels? Because Oh, here we go. That's, I, to be honest, yeah, I, I haven't watched, watched the video. I just, I see, I just see Charleston White going in on him no, all the time. I watched him because Charleston White was going in on him. I, she had an issue with him, but I don't. Because everybody be talking about him, so I looked him up and... I'm not lying. Some things he talk about women is accurate, but then because he so the way he does it, the way how he does it, approach. and then yes, and then he and then he he's says about no, he says about women, total woman. You can't just categorize every woman under the same umbrella. Well, he don't know all of them about are it. not the same. Yeah, you need to check him out. I don't I, know. I agree with Charleston I, White. I've even watched and I agree with Charleston White. Really? Because if you don't got a woman. And you trying to tell yeah. women about women? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like I said, I, I I, it's know. a le- he's he's definitely getting the following there. I can tell you that. I much. would love to. We would love to. Well, I would love to get him on this show. <laughs> Who? Kevin <laughs> Samuels. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, I'm, so he's not new. I thought he'd been doing what he's doing. Yeah, it just started to buzz. He was dealing with men too at first. They say yeah. allegedly, but I don't see none of them videos. Like messing around with him? No, 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 no. no. Like, like interviewing oh, him oh, and okay. talking. Count- he think he's a counselor. Like I a think. counselor. I think he thinks he's a counselor. <laughs> and that's why when I asked my, I asked him, I was like, so why did he switch from interviewing men to women? And he was like, oh, because he probably saw that's where the problem lies. Is in Man. the women. <laughs> but women, women cling on more to advice like that. They love it. They love that. I, 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 but you can tell because some of the interviews I be watching. He'd be talking to a woman, and you can see that they're not really telling him the total truth. They 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 like women. Y'all like to 
hear y'all like to hear what sounds good. You know what I'm saying? Take it from the Mac Daddy himself. He's here. He don't have no wife. He don't have. <laughs> no. no, he drives nice cars. He live in big homes. Uh, yeah, want, nigga, I take want it from the truth. Yeah, I brother. Wanted, hey, brother. I want I, the truth. Shout out to Say Cheese for <laughs> his observation. You know the way he sees things. You know, I, I get it, young because man. Because I love constructive criticism, so you don't always have to come in this. You know, Sean try to make Cotton, somebody man, feel thanks good. Thanks for that advice. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna kill me here in a minute. You know, I'm gonna end this interview now. Okay, go ahead. Say, man, thank you so much, bro. It's all love. Hey, that round two for real is gonna happen. Oh, no, for sure. And Let's I'm, do it. I'm, and I'll let you know when I'm when I'm ready to go. Okay. And then you plus you gonna you gonna do something crazy and go viral. Oh crazy, yeah, you stupid. know you know something. And then going I'm gonna on. be. I gotta get this guy back over here. You know oh, what yeah. I'm saying? But thank you. We love you, man. Say, man, it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. And we are. appreciate it.